Hi everyone, welcome to my channel by and for by. Today I will be covering genomic files format that is BAM, SAM and CRAM. So before going into the file format, I want to start with alignment. So alignment, the input for the alignment is the raw FOSQ files having all the information related to the reads. And the alignment is the process of taking all the reads from the FOSQ files and mapping each read to the reference genome and finding where it come from in your genome. So in this process, like uh, each reads uh, gets compared to the reference genome and get assigned a location, a location where it matches best based on some algo. So this process happens to each reads which are available in the fast queue and then it map to the reference genome. And at the end of the alignment process, you will have the whole genome sequence in order with other field information in this BAM and SAM file format. So the other field information will be your like uh, where exactly it is mapping at what location, the reference name and what is the mapping quality and etc. So the first question which comes like when you encounter with BAM SAM format. So when you have the sample and then sequencing happens and then you have the raw sequence that is fast or fast q files and then you go for the alignment using some aligner like BWA then the output uh, will be the BAM SAM file that is the align reads and using this as an input uh, and applying uh, some algo to call the variant part and then we have the VCF file format so at the third step we encounter with this BAM SAM and CRAM file format and what is exactly the SAM, BAM and CRAM so SAM is sequence alignment map and it stores data alignment data information of reads mapped against the reference sequences and it is human readable format and it has tab delimited text format BAM and CRAM are basically the compressed version of SAM files and they are non human readable format now coming with the example of SAM file so SAM file has two sections, one is header one and the second one is alignment section. Header section, each line in the header section starts with at the rate symbol. And here we can see they have different tags, HD for the header part and then they have the SQ tag for providing the information on reference sequence. And then it has the sub tag like SN and LN. SN means like the reference sequence name tag and LN is the reference sequence length tag. So SN gives you idea like the reference sequence name and what is the length of that particular reference sequence which comes from LN part. Then coming to the alignment section. So it has like each line in this particular section have the information for each read and each line consists of 11 or more uh, tab separated fields like quality, query name, flag, R name pause mapping quality these information we can see in the alignment section part so let's see uh, briefly uh, each field with an example so here there is a one read section and having all the 11 columns so the first column is the queue name that is query template name it corresponds to the read name uh, from the first queue file the second is flag bitwise flag so bitwise flag is used to explain certain features about the particular read. So for example, right now I'm dealing with this first single first read. So it will give an idea whether the read align or whether the read is marked as a PCR duplicates or if it mates are aligned or not. So these description we can get from the flag. So we have the flag information and then the description part. Coming to the next one is the R name, basically the reference sequence name, which gives the reference name uh, from, uh, like your read is mapping to which reference. And the next is pause. Pause is it tells us the leftmost position, mapping position of uh, the first base of the read. And the next part is the mapping quality. So mapping quality gives you or it tells you how well the read aligned to the reference. Then the next is the cigar string. Uh, so
so cigar string is basically a shorthand way to encode an entire alignment so let's see with an example so in this particular example we have the reference sequence and we are mapping a read so the first position of the read is mapping at a fifth position so this is the pause so the value of pause is 5 because the leftmost position of this particular read is starting with 5 and the cigar string is 3m 1i 3m 1d 5m so what does it mean so 3m basically indicates the first three nucleotides are mapping to the reference part 1i means the nucleotide is there in the read but it is missing or not present in the reference part 3m again is like three bases are mapping to the reference part 1d means the nucleotide base is absent in the read part and it is present in the reference part and again 5m uh, other five nucleotide bases are mapping to the reference part so each alphabet in the cigar character has a different meanings and description so like m d i we have seen like m is uh, representing the match part d is for the deletion and i is for the insertion same uh, we have the different alphabets has the different description part then coming to next part we have r next and p next which gives an idea of the reference name and the position of mate next and next read so when we have the asterisk mark in the r next it means like we don't have the information and when we have the zero it means we don't have the information for p next coming to the t length part this is the observed template length it means the length of reference covered by pair and reads and when we have the zero value it means the information is not available because this is single read information then we have next is sequence of the reads or we can say sequence of the segment and followed by we have the quality score of the sequence these are the tag information to the linux command that we can use to visualize the sam bam data and what others we can use with the different command lines so if you want to view the sam file you can simply use the cat function and then you can use cat and the provide the sam file name for visualizing the bam files we have to use the sam tools to view the BAM file so you just have to provide the SAM tools view and then provide the BAM file as an input then there are commands uh, to do the following features like when you want to convert the SAM files into BAM files you can use the SAM tools view minus ps and provide the input SAM file and what uh, and give the output BAM file name so it will store the SAM file into BAM file if you want to do the sorting you can use SAM tools short method and if you want uh, to do the indexing part, you can use the samples index command line in the terminal. And for example, you want to view the first five lines, the BAM file, the first five alignments. So you just have to use the samples view and give the BAM as an input. And after a pipe, and you had to provide head minus n and five. And if you want to count the total number of alignments, you just have to provide after pipe the whole count. WC the whole count minus L. And if you want to inspect the header part, because the BAMSAM file has two sections, like having the header part and the alignment section. So you only want to view the header part. So you can use this command line SAM to view minus H. So it will show you the header part. So I hope uh, this genomic file formats of BAM, SAM and CRAM will be useful for you. When, whenever you will encounter this file format, you can use these commands to visualize and understand exactly what information they are storing. Thank you.